Welcome to this CUBE conversation. I'm Lisa Martin. I'm talking next with Sanzio Bassini, the head of high performance computing at Seneca, a Dell Technologies customer. Sanzio, welcome to the CUBE. Thank you. It's a nice. pleasure. It's Likewise, a pleasure. nice to see you. So tell us a little bit about Seneca. This is a large computing center, but a very large Italian nonprofit consortium. Tell us about it. Yes, Cinec has been founded 50 years ago from the university systems in Italy to support the scientific discovery and the industry innovation using the high performance computing and the correlated methodologies like intelligence together with the big data processes and simulations. We are a consortium, which means that is a private, not for profit organizations currently are member of the consortium consortium, almost uh, all the universities in Italy, and also all the national agencies. And I also read that you are the top 10 out of the top 500 of the world's fastest supercomputers. That's a pretty big accomplishment. Uh, yes, that is a part of uh, our statutory missions. In the last 10 uh, to 15 years, uh, we have been, uh, to say, frequent flyers uh, in the top 10. The idea is to enabling uh, the scientific discovery by mean of providing the most advanced systems and co-designing uh, the most advanced HPC systems uh, to uh, promote and to support excellence in science and uh, being part of the European uh, high performance computing ecosystems. Now talk to me about some of the challenges that Seneca is trying to solve, in particular the human brain project. Talk to us a little bit about that and how you're leveraging high performance computing to accelerate scientific discovery. The Human Brain Project uh, is one of the uh, flagship uh, projects that has been uh, co-funded by the European Commission and the participating member states. There are uh, two different uh, uh, right now uh, flagships uh, together with another that is just uh, in uh, progress, uh, which is uh, the uh, quantum flagship. We are uh, participating uh, indirectly uh, together with the National Research Council. And we are um, core partners uh, of the HPC infrastructures uh, that is the Human Brain Project. One billion euro of investment, uh, co-funded by the participating states and the uh, European commissions. It's uh, a project that would combine both uh, the technology uh, issues, uh, the designing of uh, high performance computing systems that it would meet the requirements of the community and uh, the uh, big scientific challenges uh, correlated to the physiological uh, functions uh, of the human brains, including different uh, functions related to the behavior of the, of the human brain, either from the pathological point of view, either from the physiological point of view, in order to uh, better understand aging and elderlies, uh, that it would uh, impact uh, the uh, the health, uh, the public health systems, uh, some other that are correlated with what will be the support for the physiological knowledge of the, uh, of the human brains. And uh, finally, computational performance. Uh, the human brain is more than exascale systems, uh, but with a, a energy consumption uh, which is uh, very low. Uh, I mean, we are talking about some hundreds of watts of energy uh, would uh, provide a, an extreme computational performance. So if uh, uh, we could uh, organize uh, the technology of the high performance computing in terms of uh, interconnections, uh, neural morphing uh, computing systems, uh, that would uh, represent a tremendous step ahead in order to facing uh, uh, the big challenges uh, of uh, our days, uh, like uh, energies, uh, personalized medicines, uh, uh, climate change, uh, food for all, uh, those kind of big uh, uh, socioeconomical uh, uh, challenges that uh, we are facing. I was reading that besides the Human Brain Project, there are other projects going on, such as that you mentioned. I'd like to understand how 
Seneca is working with Dell Technologies, you have to translate, as you mentioned a, a minute ago, the scientific requirements for discovery into high-performance computing requirements. Talk to me about how you've been doing that with partners like Dell Technologies. In uh, our um, computing architectures, uh, we had the need to address the uh, capability uh, to uh, facing uh, the big data processing uh, uh, involved with respect of uh, the human brain project and generally speaking uh, involved with respect of the science driven that would to provide uh, uh, cloud access uh, to the systems by means of uh, containers technologies uh, and uh, the capability also to address what will be the creation of a federation of high performance computing facility in Europe. So uh, at the end, we manage a, a competitive dialogue uh, procurement process uh, that in a certain sense uh, would share together with the different potential technology providers what could be the visions and also the constraints with respect to the visions, including uh, budget constraints. And uh, at the end, Dell that uh, showed uh, the characteristics uh, of the solution that it would be more, uh, let's say, compliant and at the same time flexible with respect of the combinations of very uh, different uh, constraints and requirements. Dell Technologies has been, it sounds like, a pretty flexible partner because you've got so many different needs and scientific needs to meet for different researchers. Talk to me about how you mentioned that this is a multinational effort. How does Seneca serve and work with teams not only in Italy, but in other countries and from other institutes? The Italian commitment uh, together with uh, the European member states uh, is that by mean of uh, um, scientific merits and uh, peer review process, uh, uh, roughly speaking, half of the um, production capacity uh, would be shared at the European level. Uh, that is uh, a commitment that has been shared uh, together with uh, France, uh, Germany, Spain, and uh, Switzerland, where also, of course, uh, Italian scientists can uh, uh, apply and participate, uh, but in a sort of emulations and uh, the advanced competition for addressing what will be the excellence in science. Uh, the remaining 50% uh, of our production capacity is for, for uh, the national uh, community and uh, um, in somehow to prepare and to support uh, the uh, Italian community to be competitive uh, on the uh, worldwide scenario. That uh, uh, setting up uh, would lead also to the um, agreement uh, at the international level uh, with respect of uh, uh, some of the actions that, that are promoted in progress uh, in the US and in Japan also. There have been the sharing uh, actions uh, with the US uh, researchers uh, or Japanese researchers in an open uh, space. It sounds like the uh, Human Brain Project, which the HPC is powering, which has been around since 2013, is really facilitating global collaboration. Talk to me about some of the results that the high performance computing environment has helped the Human Brain Project to achieve so far. The main outcomes are that it will be consolidated uh, in the next uh, phase uh, that will be led by Euro SPC, which is called the Phoenix, uh, that stands for Federation of uh, High Performance Computing Systems in Europe, so that uh, um, provide uh, open service based on two concepts. One is the um, sharing of the ID at the European level. So it means that open the access to the Cineca system, to the CA system in France, to the ULIC system in uh, Germany, to the Pitdine system in Switzerland, and to the Marenoson system in uh, uh, Spain. That is the federated ID management. The uh, others, uh, it's related to what will be 
the Federation of Data Access, the uh, scientific community, may share their data in a see, seamless mode. The actions that has been uh, supported by Chinec has to do with the two specific uh, uh, target. One is the elaborations of the uh, data that are provided by the LENS, uh, the laser uh, laboratory facility in Florence. Uh, that is one of the core parts of scanning uh, the uh, data that would come from uh, the mouse uh, brains that are used for Cavia. Um, and uh, the second part is for the uh, mesoscale uh, studies of uh, the uh, cortex of the brain. In some uh, situations, the um, combinations of performance uh, capability of uh, the federation systems for addressing what it would be the simulations of the overall behavior of the human brain that would take a lot of performance that are challenging, are periodically simulations that are periodically run and that it would happen combining the, the uh, HPC facilities at the European level. Right. So I was reading, there's a case study, by the way, on Sonica that Dell Technologies has published. And some of the results, you talked about those, that the HPC is facilitating um, research and results on epilepsy, spinal cord injury, brain prostheses for the blind, as well as new insights into autism. So an incredibly important work that you're doing here for the Human Brain Project. One last question, Sancio, for you. What advice would you give to your peers who might be in similar situations that need to, um, to build and deploy and maintain high-performance computing environments? Where should they start? There is a continuous sharing of uh, um, knowledge, experience, best practices, where the situation is different uh, in the sense that they are uh, focused on what it would be uh, the integrations uh, of the uh, high performance computing uh, technology into their uh, production workflow. There is the sharing of the experience in order to uh, provide a spreads and amplifications of the uh, opportunity for supporting the innovations. That is part of our strategic missions uh, in, uh, in Italy, but it's also the objective that is supported by the European Commission. Excellent. That sharing and that knowledge transfer and collaboration it seems to be absolutely fundamental and the environment that you've built facilitates that. Sanzio, thank you so much for sharing with us what Sinica is doing and the great research that's going on there and across a lot of disciplines. We appreciate you joining the program today. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Likewise. For Sanzio Balsini, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching this CUBE Conversation.